A man is a god in ruins. When men are innocent, life shall be longer and shall pass into the immortal as gently as we awake from dreams. When I wrote Life After Life, I always knew right at the beginning that I would write A God in Ruins because I wanted to take the character of Teddy forward into another book. I had a lot of trouble thinking what would happen to him, what job would he do, how would he manage his life, and I suppose in a way that's what the book is about. It's about what kind of a man would Teddy become. The statistics are against um, anyone flying a bomber over Germany, and I think it's a surprise almost to him when he finds that he is living in 1946 and he has decades ahead of him. The main focus in his character for me is what you do as a good, rather dull man with all those decades when the true heart of your experience was killing people. With God in Ruins, I'm taking one life and exploring it too. It's, it's extreme. I think I don't always understand what I'm doing when I'm writing. In fact, very often I don't understand what I'm doing, but I am very aware always of the fictional nature of fiction. We have characters in, in novels that we carry with us as if they were real people, and in a way that's what I'm saying, is that you know these people are in their own way as real as the person who lives next door to you. Mm -hmm.